Dolls Frontline Finale Yung palang kumakausap kay M4A1 It's actually It's actually the Sangvis Mastermind Eventually natuntunan siya Natuntunan siya ni AR-15 AR-15 was able to secure M4A1 So, okay Kumbahan muna kita dito ha Teka, bigal ko yung pako So parang gano'n yung Gano'n niya sabi niya So what this was going on Si Lion 16 naman ng Sob Mood 2 along with the other Griffin Dolls, na pin down sila sa isang sa isang lugar that's supposed to be uh, not infested by Sangvis. Pero, ang gulo nila, buto daw may Sangvis dito! Get challenge at the end of her rope. Hindi niya alam kung, nung, kung paano i-bail out ang kanyang mga dolls dito. Then, um, through her assistant, si Kalina, Oh, uh, the word is now the word has now been passed, and well, Genshin needs help. So the other three commanders, uh, the other three base commanders, tang padala na ng reinforcements. Later in the episode, AR-15 uh, meets up with M-16. Eh, may pinoba. Sabi niya, I can't. Well, proverbially, she said, I can't go with you. I still have some business to attend to here. Eh. Well, mukhang gets na gets na ni M16 ang gagawin ni AR15 oh he just she just asked how am I going to explain this to SOP2 and M4 how do you expect me to, to explain this ang plano pala ni AR15 itumba ang sang, ang sang, ang mastermind ang sangvis mastermind but pero before she could do this um well nagkaroon sila ng ng dogfight ni ni Alchemist uh, well Alchemist was about to give her a surprise surprise attack but suddenly oh Sop, uh, Sop 2 interferes ayun na i um well dinisable niya si Alchemist and um may pinabigay lang si AR-15 kay, kay Sop 2 oh lahat ng information na na naipon ko sa kala, galing sa kalaban andiyan na yan ko na bahala diyan na mag, magbigay sa magbigay sa commander natin eh sabi naman ni Sopto eh, ano alis ka na naman pop eh, sinabi na lang ni AR15 in her own way stop me and I'll kill you <laughs> nakahanap pension ni Sopto si M4A1 kasi sinabi nga ni AR-15 kung saan niya iniwan to. But, ito pala ang plano ni AR-15. If she is going down with this virus, she might as well take a lot of sangvis, sangvis bitches with her. As much as possible, the mastermind. Tanggap na ni AR-15 nung ang kapalara niya. So while this is happening, As AR team was about to board the rescue helicopter, do not realize the M4A1. Teka. Nasa si AR-15? Eh, ayaw magsalita sila, ano, sila M16 at SOP2. So, balik siya, kumaripas, pabalik. But, it was all too late. AR-15 found a way to to blow that building up along with the along with the mastermind and the other yung isang batalyon ng mga ibang sangvis dolls ayun mo most shocking moment of the episode final scene um post credit we're in pinakita na ang mastermind ay buhay pa so obviously she's the only one who survived AR-15's plan Now, she's talking to an agent at sinabi, sinabi ng, nag-report sa kanya is, ang agent na to. And, well, she, she just said na meron pa siyang in, in-installan na Griffin doll ng, ng para po with virus. Eh, sabi na lang ng mastermind. Looks like I'll just have to wait. Uh, wait for my chance to be M4A1. Daming meaning. Patreon, mga lifestyle We're gonna break this episode down. No, break this finale down. Critics of style. Pace. From the get-go, talagang 
intense yung pacing eh. But, it completely, it completely got halted nung, yan, when AR-15 made the supreme sacrifice. It's quite a shocker. But do I have complaints? Mga lifestyle Patreon. No? Because, this is also the, uh, if, if the, kung, kung medyo pinikap nila yung pacing, hindi, tawag dito, hindi mararam, hindi ko mararamdaman as the viewer that, well, um, the sang, the, the boss Sandvis has just showed herself. Yun nga, si Mastermind. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when, um, was when Sop2 was able to disable Alchemy. Well, why did I call us a gear shift? Finally, may naintumbang high-end model si Sop2. Okay, on her own, ha? On her own. Pero, uh, bes besides that, it's also the gear shift that will, that will tell you that, um, AR-15's final moments have begun. Final gear shift. Yup, dalawa lang. For a finale. Of course, the scene where AR-15 takes down that, that whole battalion of Sangvis dolls with her. Nung sa bombang pinlanta niya. So no pretty normal gear shift, folks. Kasi, I felt that the anime ended right there with that gear shift. So these two gear shifts that I saw, um, panoorin nyo lang ang dalawang gear shift na to, you will completely understand what, uh, what the four main pro tags went through in this, uh, in this finale. I guess AR-15 was the hero of this, uh, of this finale. Plot-wise, wala, wala namang side story or back story. Yung pinapakita rito ng mga conversation sequences between AR-15 and M4, ano eh, it's part of Mastermind's plan to, to, um, to, to psych out M4A1 into, uh, giving her the information she wants. So, you can call it a hallucination sequence, which is part of the main continuity of the episode. Kaya, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. You can't call that a side story. Right? But, it is a hallucination sequence kasi talagang nililin lang si m 4 a dito ng kalaban eh. And who knows? Maybe the doll they were referring to na nilagyan pa nila ng isa pang uh, kopya ng para Louis virus ay si M4A1 mismo. All right, that's that's going to be bad news <laughs> if that happens. And if if Dolls Frontline comes back with another season na kalito ang magiging plot. And well, the clean plot will give you an will we'll make you think that way. Kasi nga malinis. Malinis na, malinis ang plot ng finale ito. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this finale, folks. So, Dolls Frontline finale. Bakit? Because the way it ended, ano eh, bitin. Kung maga, hindi man lang nagsalita ang kahit sino sa kanina eh, si SOP2, M16, or even M4A1. Over, um, over, they didn't even talk about AR-15 sacrifice. Talagang, they, they're, well, I can't blame them, they're all in shock as to what AR-15 did here. Pero, yung post credit scene, it totally convinced me to just give it a one thumb up. Kasi, ang hina ng dating eh. 
Ang hina ng dating nung, nung final scene eh. Parang, they already given a hint as to who they, who they planted uh, another copy of this para Bluey program eh. It's M4A1. So, medyo giveaway na nila kung anong kung ano ang magiging siste sa season 2 if ever ah if ever so parang I think they just doomed uh, the second season if ever man lang if ever pero still a good finale with one of the with one of the main protags dying hey, hey, hey. Uh, no one can erase that fact, right? It made it, uh, it still made it a good, uh, a good finale. Pero, medyo kinulang yung, ano eh, medyo kinulang yung final scene. Yung impact, kinulang sa impact. So again, Dolls Frontline finale. Sorry guys. Although, yeah, it had, it had a good storyline, you know. The final scene was just not enough. It wasn't just enough for me. So, will it get another season? I'm going to put it at 40-60. Because, um, from what I know from Asai Productions, they don't they're not into giving animes another season. Eh. So far, uh, all, uh, all the animes that they have, all the anime projects that they have been involved in, wala pang season to sa mga to eh. And Dolls Frontline would be, wouldn't be an exception to that. At all. I wouldn't keep my hopes up. But, there are signs in this finale that, that it may have a season 2. Kaya Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for you, for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, before that, thank you Asahi Productions for uh, for giving us a, a really good anime this time. Despite um, the lackluster final scene in this finale, you completely made up for your debacle in Peach Boy Riverside. Right? You you really made up for it, but you really made up for it with this one. So, chill chill na lang muna kay Jan, okay? Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.